so we've just finished Laguna route. It Yay! Was, yeah. It was not the end of van life. Maybe. We don't know yet. <laughs> we don't know what else we broke. <laughs> you got to wait to see. Uh, These end of van life things don't happen overnight. <laughs> um, and we're here with uh, Lee and Willow, our friends. Hello. Uh, tell us a bit about you guys. Who are you? She's Lee. I'm Willow. <laughs> Huh? Where no. the Chronicles can't be? Wait, oh no. <laughs> We're terrible at this. You <laughs> yes, sir. Come I, on, man. I'm Tell Lee. Yourself. I'm Lee. This is Willow. We are from the UK. You might hear it in my accent. I'm from Birmingham. The UK. The UK. Uh, we have been travelling in this wreck of a VW for the past four and a bit years. And uh, yeah. Pleased we, to announce that it is still driving. We met you guys a week ago after a uni in Bolivia and now we're in Chile yes and where can we find you online we also post on YouTube under the name the Combi Chronicles we have a Facebook page a blog and an Instagram all under the name the Combi Chronicles with a K Combi with a K Chronicles, Chronicles with a C well I thought Timmy K's might be a bit yeah, yeah. You, don't want, you don't want a triple K in no, there, you no, know. no dangerous and, and on <laughs> patreon.com forward slash yes we have a Patreon we have some amazing people who help support us on our trip because this is a hard hard journey especially in something that's older than I am and hell bent on falling apart yes so if you want to check us out you can find us on any of those platforms so patreon.com forward slash comic crime mm -hmm. Indeed. I'm sure you're going to put some awesome links yeah, in yeah, the description yeah, yeah, below. Yeah, and on the screen. Put cool. a logo here. Ah, cool. Really big. <laughs> <laughs> and Corinne, tell us about us. Oh. Who, who are you guys? I don't know. This is me. <laughs> we feel this on four wheels. You can also find us um, on Patreon, on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Um, we've been traveling um, through South America for about a year and a half now. And we are currently heading south. Cool. And any tips you guys can give our viewers oh, on doing this? This is Lexi. Oh. Oh, this, is, oh. this is one of our two cats, Lexi, yes. who I'm oh. going to be checking. Oh, look at her sitting on my I lap. Know. She knows you made her a toy. We are gonna we are gonna do a full vehicle inspection before you leave <laughs> because you yes. two have bonded incredibly. Yeah. Oh Lex. Yeah. Oh, go, go. Go hunt. As soon as you said bonding and going yeah. away. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit too much. Yeah, sure. yes, yes. Okay, so get back to serious business. Do you want to tell people what the Laguna route is if they haven't watched your previous video? Okay, well, this will be at the end of my video, but in case Maybe we use it somewhere else. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, if you dare what skip to the end. What are you doing okay. skipping to the end? Yeah. Rude. Um, the Laguna route is a route through Bolivia into Chile from Uyuni and the Salt Flats um, going through fantastic desert landscapes with beautiful views Spectacular views Yes Different um, lagunas with different color water uh, Flamingos, bird life, some hot geysers yeah. Bubble bubble toil and trouble coming out of the earth um, and um, Harsh, harsh conditions. Lots Very of harsh. wind. Very high. Lots of washboard road. I don't yes. know if you noticed that. <laughs> no, I'm still vibrating now. <laughs> I can feel it. It is one of the yeah. most challenging roads in South America. Yeah. Probably of one of the top 200 most challenging and roads. And we, we did it. High five. Yes. Yes. Well, that was a good high five. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we did it. Um, it, it is the one um, route that we decided to do in convoy because we don't normally do in convoy and luckily we met these guys in La Paz we had a few beers we sussed them out basically they got us drunk and be yeah. like do you want she's a mechanic if we break down <laughs> yes. you want to come and help fix and things? then we asked them about their dirty secrets and now then they said now they're cool yeah we, we can do it we have no secrets anymore yeah. we know no. all the dirty yes, ones yes, yeah yes um, okay, so uh, well, uh, any tips for somebody doing wanting to do the Laguna route? What would you? Well, I'm going to leave the serious stuff for you, lot. So I'm going to say, if go with someone else, and if you think your car is particularly unreliable, then get them to drive behind you so they can pick up all the stuff that falls <laughs> off. That's the uh, local support. Yes, oh. the local uh, law enforcement. Uh, um, Lee from Tip. 
Um, so, from the moment you leave the main highway to San Pedro, there are no major towns or petrol stations. So we bought some seven litre water containers, which we put the water into our drinking garrafe on and then we filled up with extra fuel. You can never have too much cheap Bolivian fuel. Yes? Mine is antifreeze. So Yes. Yes, because it gets very cold at night. And the last so, night... So fill your radiator Yes, and then Willow has a little thingy. A tester. That, a tester, so you can actually test how much, the what's the percentage antifreeze to water and how cold you can actually get before you. What was your um, was protection you before you checked it? It was well. We we, oh. we, had, a, we had we added one liter one of liter. antifreeze to four and a half liters of um, yeah. coolant. Can you and remember what it was? It, it was like no. Uh, it was, I didn't even get a ball. You yeah. didn't get any balls. No yeah. balls. No, no. And then we added the tester shows balls. Every ball. Yeah. Means so so then, not these balls. No. Then we added two more liters, and then I had like two balls a little bit under and I could go up and to minus, minus six minus six I think you did it. And so well, I what's the, what's the, what's the yeah. correct way of doing it Willow how many what percentage of anti antifreeze to cool it well, it's about 50 I mean, 50 it's dependent on where you, you drive it yeah. yeah. we know people have done the Laguna route and it's gone down to minus 15 degrees Celsius but it was good you put more in because you had minus six and it went to minus seven Yes, yeah. the last yeah. night. Yeah, yeah, then we would have been in trouble. And the, the concern is that um, the water will freeze in your pipes and then your car will your not start. The engine not would start crack. crack at yeah. yeah, if you crack it, nobody can worse. help you then. No, 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 you'll probably get help if you. It's, you'll get towed. But it will be a very expensive help. Yeah. My S tips would be drive between 10 and 30 kilometers an hour, not faster. Your car will fall apart. It will feel like your car falls apart anyway, but <laughs> yeah. the slower, um, reduce your tire pressure. We reduced our tire pressure by 10% because we don't have such steady tires. You guys reduced by? About 20%. Because it's a much thicker, so depending yeah. on the yeah. tire, but reduce your, your tire pressure. And Just how long was our, we did it in four days. So the other thing is allow yourself some time to And it was good we did, because yeah. we had a problem. Yeah. That one day, and that took time, but it still wasn't too rushed. No, yeah. no. And if we'd said it's three days, we must go, then yeah. it would have all been like... Yeah, you need to drive quicker, and then yeah. you yeah. get problems. Yeah. So yeah. four days was actually perfect. Four days as a, a minimum was perfect. Mm -hmm. I could have stayed another day. I could have spent two or three more days. Yeah. No, I okay. would have, it was just too cold yeah. and unpleasant. It's harsh. Uh, it the is environment harsh. environment is it's harsh. Really it's really windy. The wind. it's in the afternoon, it's a bit of a... Right at the start, there's a beautiful rock formation that you would have seen I watching this. I could have stayed this. there for two days. We had a lovely mm. fire. We were protected yeah. from the wind. Yeah. We had the best fire soundtrack in the world. Yes. yes. Um, so you yeah, maybe spent more time there. Is yeah, at the first one. Okay. Yeah. What was it called? Um, it was Bosque de Pedras. Yeah yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Basically jungle rocks. Jungle yeah. rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and check your suspension, your wheel nuts before you go and check it a few times while you drive. You can pick up, if you can pick up problems earlier, yeah. it would be better. And take as much water as you can carry in yeah. case something goes south. There's one town, VA, no. VMR and we were able to buy some drinking water, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't bank on it. Yes. No. I would rather buy beer. Yes. We did that we too. Did that. Yeah, we did, we did that. that. Yeah. <laughs> but you can never have too much water. Like no. you can never have too much fuel. Yeah. Or antifreeze. No. We're still <laughs> running on the same And oh, tool. another thing we did was we uh, we bought lots of pre-made food. Yes. Yeah. You make your food, food these very are easy. Your, to... uh, these are your lazy camping tips, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, let's move on. Good, good, good segue. So uh, give us your lazy camping tip, Karine. Can I? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, big responsibility. Ooh. Buy two minute noodles, two minute anything, um, especially for the Laguna route, it was nice and it's warm. So it's a nice And we're talking about, soup. in England we call them pot noodles. Yeah. They're in the plastic yeah. pot, yeah, that's the brand, pot water. Isn't it? Yeah, but. Yeah. Yeah. And then we also made a pancake mix, which was oh, a that good was idea. Yeah. They made banging pancakes, really which we pancakes. put blue cheese in. Mm -hmm. 
I married Baker. <laughs> well, I think we disgusted you a bit when we said there's <laughs> blue cheese in the pancakes. Yes, I'm yes. a Nutella pancake and a cinnamon sugar pancake. <laughs> <laughs> cool, okay. Yeah. Uh, and Lee? Lazy, lazy camping tip. Lazy camping tip is whilst you're driving, stop when you see wood so you can oh. make an easy campfire without trying to walk around because you know if you're in a really nice camp spot, you know people have already gone and scavenged all of the good wood. Yeah. So along the way, if you see it, grab it, chuck it on the back. Cool, will it? Um, my, I don't think I'm very good at this. Lazy. You're not that lazy. Why have we camped no, here? No, I am though. I'm really lazy. Why have we camped here? What, camp next to water? That's well, a good place. So you can spend all day washing your floor mats. <laughs> Super fun. Which isn't very lazy, but it's very cost effective. Okay, so cost effective, I can do that. Yeah. And I'd say just the tip in general is just never arrive to your camp spot in the dark. Because yeah. you don't know... You can't see anything. Like I pulled up this one before and, and then I realized I needed to move a foot forwards and the whole van would have been level instead of being completely and utterly. could have saved a lot more hassle. Yes. So it's kind of lazy. Yeah, yeah. It's to get it right the first time. It's yes. just easier to just do it right when you can see in the daylight. There we go. And yeah. yours? Okay, so my lazy tip is specifically about doing dishes. I always do my dishes as soon as possible after eating. That doesn't sound very lazy, doing it proactively. Or no, but it gets dry it. and then it's so much more work. So, I, in, especially in this dry um, you climate, 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 then your dishes get dry yeah. and everything sticks. We made that mistake last night. She made a delicious potato salad, but she didn't wipe the mayonnaise off the bowl. And then this but morning, yes. It was Concrete. Yes, exactly. You know what happened to me is I threw all the dishes in the the, the, the washing bin and then the water froze. Yes. That was a thing. I mean, did that uh, help? I, did that help? No. <laughs> no. I should. <laughs> it I mean, delayed, I mean it you didn't have to wash it. It delayed it. So. it, delayed no. it. Yes. I threw all my clothes in a similar and got, bucket and it also froze. Yeah. Did it come out cleaner? Well, it came out in one chunk. Yeah, with a, a big block. ice chunk in the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I had to keep getting buckets from the hot spring to try and defrost them in yes. the morning. Yeah, so always do your dishes as soon as possible so it's less work. I agree with water. this because we, yeah. we are lazy towards the lazy route and it makes it so much harder. harder. And you use so much more water. Uh, yes, and you then you so need water, water and time and energy. Yes, we, we, are, we are too lazy to be tips. And then you gave it a lazy camper tip is to burn your rubbish. If yes, you if you're having a fire because you've already been the lazy van lifer and collected it, once you've built your fire pit and you've got the fire nice and hot, you can burn some of those yes. things you don't want to carry, plastic bags and yeah. so much cardboard goes in that, yes. your bins and when you don't have much yeah. room, it's a necessary usage of space, so just yeah. burn it off, easy fire light it. Yes. Especially in countries like this, because I'm not 100% convinced that they really get recycling, so. No, yes. they just chuck it out. Maybe it's down. not super eco, but we tend to yeah. burn all the plastic and you everything can. off. You know it's, it's just, just gonna get the same treatment here anyway. Mm. Yeah. Yes. And cool. you don't have to carry it. Yes. Yeah. Super lazy tips. Super lazy yeah. tips. Thank you guys. So head on over to patreon.com forward slash combi chronicles or patreon.com forward yeah. slash feelers and four wheels. Or both. Yeah, d both would be great. Mm. If you just want to get to know us better, you can find us on the combi chronicles.com where we'll have, at some point we'll be writing blogs again about our trips and you get to know us a bit better. Uh, you got four years of blogs to catch up before you And if you're cat here. lovers, this is our other cat, Amy. If you want to know about travelling in a camper van <laughs> with a cat, please send us messages. We even have a video about how to do it. We'd love to help. We're friendly after 9am. <laughs> Yes, don't expect a response <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> or from these guys. Yeah, early morning. <laughs> yes. Cool, so thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button, smash subscribe and hit that bell icon. And share it with your friends. These guys deserve to be seen by more people. So tell your aunt and your uncle and your gran. Very good advice. Listen to that man. <laughs> Ciao. Bye. Bye. But that's a story for another time, so please remember to 
like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our Patreons for making these videos possible.